Hello all and welcome to part two of modifying your skates. So if you haven't seen part one, part one is about dyeing your skate holders. So check out the link in the description there and watch that first. Um, so part two is going to be about detailing your skates. So adding little tiny details and all that stuff to make them look cool. So to go around. So the things you're going to require to do this is going to be your skate holder. You're going to need an exacto knife, a pencil, painter's tape, and a vinyl. I use car vinyl, so this is permanent car vinyl that they use for wrapping, so it's outdoor and very adhesive and should protect. So, once you have all that, you also need a straight edge and some sort of area that you can cut on. And then once you have all that, you are ready to start. Okay, so the first thing I do with it is I'm going to take some painter's tape here, and I'm just going to take a good strip, maybe about a yay long. Now the design I want to do is I'm going to follow this line with green and this line with green and then I'm going to follow the curves of the holder. So I'm just going to push the painter tape on like this. This is a little trick I use. Now the other thing that is great with this tape is you can draw any design you want. It doesn't have to follow the line. You can I can do like swirls back here or something. I can do whatever I want. And then you can just use that to cut it out. So, I want to go right in front, pretty much so about here. As I was saying before, the pencil knife do not have to be overly accurate. Accurate enough that you can use it. So, you see it all outlined there. So, we're going to take our handy dandy vinyl, and peel the tape off here. There we go. Take this. Now with this one, since I'm wrapping it off the back, I want to make sure I have enough room here that it doesn't get too short. So let's bring it down a bit. Waste not, want not. Right. It's all one consistent curve, so I'm not going to use the straight edge for that. But I can use the straight edge now to line up the front here. So if I go like this, I want that to be straight, just like that. That's the angle right there, yep. I really want to make sure you get through all the layers of it. It's three layers here, right? So. If you don't get through all of them, it can be very tricky to get one layer to cut without messing up the other ones. This adhesive is kind of nice because you can re-layer it, you can pull it tight, you can you can move it. So if it's not 100% accurate your first time, it's okay. You can always move it. Right here, it didn't, it didn't get deep enough. Sometimes you have to do a little bit of a sawing motion to get it to Just like that, there's our piece. Okay, now, I always like to have two separate pieces at least on each piece so you have a little tab that you can pull off. You can always have a tab to pull from then. It's much easier. I see there's going to be some imperfections around this area, but we can trim that out afterwards. I'm going to show you. Let's get the vinyl out of the way here. Okay. Grab the holder. Make sure you put it on straight. <laughs> I'm going to peel the back of it. I'm going to start from the front. The back we cut unintentionally too long. And let's use the exact amount to split it. There we 
we go. Oops, okay. Now I'm going to pull it about that far, and then I'm going to fold it, increase it. I'm going to show you a little trick here. So you want to line up the corners; those are the most most important parts. So that's the corner there, right? So you want to be straight like that. Okay, and then we're going to I'm going to grab this little tab underneath, and I'm going to hold this like that and then as I pull I'm going to pull tightly and push with the thumb I don't really like how that's curving up, and I just need to push this up. So, okay. It's like there's little things like that I don't like, but the nice thing is because it is dyed, you can cut it while on the holder. So you just go like this and just trim it. And I can just grab the tab there, peel it up, and just like that, voila. So, now this, I want to actually curve it more even. I want to make it a little shorter. It's a little too far for my liking. So don't worry if it's not perfect when you cut it out the first time, because you can always change it. And then just a lot of cleaning up. So take your time. Do it right. If you mess up, you can always just take it off and redo it. And that is the process of making it. Well, there we go. This is the final result there. So there are the two skates right there. There's a little bit of issues going on here, but it's very hot today, so it doesn't seem to be sticking as well. So make sure that it's a little bit of a colder day that you do it on. Um, but yep, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the results there. I'm going to go test them out on the ice rink. If I have any issues with it maybe peeling up or anything like that, maybe some super glue underneath, maybe a little bit of heat when you put it on it. But after a couple days, it seems to seal pretty good. So uh, thank you for watching this tutorial video. Please like and subscribe below, and we hope to see you next time. Keep skating.